Hey everyone, so I've had a lot of requests come in uh, asking how to do chairside refinements and just to get more details about how that process is completed. And so I want to show you, this is a case uh, that came in today. I'm going to try to post one of these a week or so. Uh, that may be ambitious, but I'm going to do my best. So this is where this patient came in and they had some small laterals and some crowding on the lower. And you can see we needed to make some space for this lateral. And so this is the initial plan. And we also planned on bonding the laterals. So we're going to move the gingival margin so we can bond them. And you can see we have a crossbite here in the posterior. So on the initial plan, uh, we added some attachments and you can see there's the quick three. So those are printed in office uh, following the rules of quick three, uh, which you can uh, check out uh, at the course or just know basically it's facial crown tip when there's crowding. So you can see here these first three aligners um, are just basically tipping out, creating space, no attachments and the attachments go on here along with some turbos to help open the bite there you see and then we're going to go ahead and this was the first set of aligners you can see we're expanding on the top uh, we're adding some buckle um, root torque as well and this is our initial setup to here and you can see we did some ipr on the lower all right so we'll run that back one more time and we'll initially expand and then we'll broaden everything out you can see that lateral moving forward now when the patient came in, I'll show you what the teeth actually look like. They looked something like this, okay? So the bite was a little bit open. We still had a little bit of a crossbite here, and I'm going to turn these off just so we can see better. So there's a little bit of a crossbite here. Um, this lateral on the lower wasn't quite uh, corrected all the way. It was still set back a little bit. And, uh, and, and then we were still a little bit tight in the posterior, okay? So that's where the patient came in. This is what their teeth look like. You could see the interferences. Uh, you could see... Uh, in the front, this tooth was also a little bit lower, so it hadn't come all the way up, like from where it started, it hadn't come all the way up, so it was not tracking. And again, if you recall, there, there was not an attachment on that tooth, so that's not overwhelmingly surprising. So let's go back, and I'm going to show you the chair side refinement that we did, and then I'm going to show you how we did it. All right, so here's the chair side refinement that we did. All right, so if you look here, and I'll, I'll show you from this view first. You can see what's going on. We got a little bit of tip on those laterals in the front that I noticed, and we have some expansion going on on the upper right side because, again, we were still in crossbite. And then on the lower right side, you can see we have a little bit of lingual movement, a little bit of lingual crown tip movement. And then on the lateral here, we went ahead and overcorrected that. So you can see here as we push that forward more. And then additionally, this root here was kind of sticking out still. It, it needed a lingual root tip. So we went ahead and we moved that root in a little bit. And then we also intruded these three teeth relative to this one because, again, in the mouth, uh, there was a discrepancy. So we, the setup was here, but in the mouth, I showed you what it looked like. So then we went ahead and intruded those, and we did a little bit more IPR here to make that match. Uh, from the front view here, you can kind of see these are the movements you can see that right side going out this is being overcorrected because in the mouth it was still in crossbite and you can see the increase in the ipr there and we just did a little bit of tip on these laterals to help get those moving and then on it looks like on the yeah that was it okay so let's go back here and again this is what the teeth actually look like so i'm going to delete this so i can show you how to make that refinement okay that's what the teeth actually look like so let me just go ahead and delete this and we'll delete this and so you can see that's where our setup was. So all we did is we're going to add a keyframe. And then once that keyframe is added, we can go ahead and move these teeth outward. So we can just move them facially. All right, and we can grab that guy and move it a little bit more buckly. If you feel like you need to torque it, if it's, uh, it needs torque, you can add torque as well. And what that's doing is it's adding these keyframes down here. You can see it created some space so we can close up that space. And then I'm going to scroll through and kind of see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks pretty decent there. Uh, so we can see those movements uh, as far as the tip goes, uh, and I can't remember the exact direction now it was, but it needed one of the tips there. So you can do either mesial crown tip or distal crown tip. Let's do the opposite there, whatever it was. So you can see it's adding stages there. And then the lower, again, don't forget to hit that add keyframe button. We'll take those teeth and we're going to move them. We're going to intrude them, right? Because in the mouth, this one was lower. So we're going to intrude the rest of them. And then here, we're going to move those in, so we're going to go lingual, and we'll grab this guy, go lingual some more, and then if you created an interference you don't want, you can just move that distal, you can play that through. Now you'll notice that I only had four aligners, and then actually the other thing we needed to do was move this guy out, so we, we pulled that a little bit further out. I'm just going to move that out this way here, and then this guy we added some lingual root tip facial crown tip 
something like that. All right, and yeah. You can see that increased the IPR there. We can distalize this as we did the IPR uh, along the front there. You'll see here that this added more than the amount of liners that you saw before. So what we're gonna do, get this out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to the velocity tab and you can see here what it's set at. All right, so I'm just gonna hit control and grab these and then uh, I know I can do that faster. So I'm gonna just crank this up to about 2.9 and you'll see that'll drop it to four, which is where we had it for the chair side refinements. So then I'm gonna hit control, hold down control and do the same thing here. Actually, you don't want that selected. All right, and we're gonna crank this up to maybe to like 3.5 and I'm just guessing here. So yeah, that gets us to four aligners. So then you can just look and say, okay, is that reasonable within four aligners? I think it's pretty reasonable. Uh, not too much movement going on there. Same thing here, I think that's pretty reasonable. And so that's how you would create that. I don't know how long that took, but that's the, the chair side refinement process. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this now just so I don't mess up my case, but we'll go back and we'll look and we'll see, what is this, 0 0.29, 0 0.35, I'm curious. Oh, look at that, yeah, that's the exact velocity that we used, so that was kind of lucky. Um, but yeah, so again, there's the actual chair side refinement you can do. You can see the mesial crown tip on both sides. It looks like it's what we did. And you can see the over expansion there. So these aligners were ordered. So when you go into the order panel, it'll allow you to ship it to the patient's house. So you put in the patient's uh, home address and it'll ship it to them. And the next time I see the patient, so they were they were currently on number 24. Uh, they had just started number 24. So they had just finished number 23, just started number 24. So they're gonna wear 24 for two weeks. By time, uh, that's how long these take to ship. So they'll get number 25 in two weeks. They'll wear 25, 26, 27. And I'm gonna see them back when they're halfway through or, or just starting number 28. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take a look at the top and on the bottom, and then we're going to continue to uh, refine and add a new K-frame and make any other adjustments as needed until all of the hard stuff is done. Once this posterior crossbite is corrected and once these tips in the front are corrected um, and once the rotation in the front and the root is corrected, then we'll get all the attachments off. We'll debond. We'll go into post debond aligners to settle the bite completely and this patient will be done. So that's the chair side refinement process in a nutshell. I'm going to try to do more and more of these cases until it makes uh, sense to everyone. Um, and if you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below uh, and I will try to get to them um, as quickly as I can. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate you.